Oh, there we go. The news is on. Coming up next, a special report on the Amazing Comedies Core of the Tanaka's Amazing Com Comedies Kamanamana program. President Tanaka's failure to account for certain expenditures has caused the media stir lately. We now join our field reporter live from the scene. I'm reporting from the Amazing Comedies head office where a swarm of journalists has conveyed. Word has it that President Tanaka will be coming out shortly to make a statement. The tension in the air can't be denied. Thank you and we'll be looking forward to updates as soon as anything happens. Back to the studio. The unaccounted expedition expenditure has sparked a massive investigation. Some theorize that tax invasion, or invasion, sorry, is the cause. Oh, there's no question about that. I remind you that this is President Tanaka we're talking about. He tricks his own viewers for a few extra bucks. I bet he slit his mama's throat for a 5 yen piece. No matter how high his net worth rises, he'll never be satisfied. He's lower than the scum on the earthworm's belly. All that money and no charity has ever seen a dime. Ooh, well, I'm sure he's not as bad as all as all, as all that. Um, um, uh, oh, this just in. Something has happened at the scene. President Tanaka has emerged. <gasps> he's carrying a microphone. It looks like he's going to sing. Here comes Tanaka, over the airwaves to you! Granner of your desires. Hi everyone, amazing comedies, or comedy, comedy, comedies, com comedies, comedies, is here for you, year round, rain or shine. We have a monomonomona, ah fuck, okay now I really fucked up on that one. <laughs> we have a monopoly. On the cheapest, highest quality goods, our customers' ecstatic screams causes noise pollution. Our stock rises, our stocks rise so high, they are a hazard to birds, and we make losers every day out of people who don't buy. We're the only miracles left in this sad, desolate world. That's the amazing comedy's guarantee. We look forward to your business. What? He was in a car when he said that? Oh, uh, he's gone! What the- what the hell are you doing? You call yourself a journalist? If you can't get one lousy comment out of him, is it- it's as good as free advertising. We'll have to interrupt you there, as we've just received a fax. It's from President Tanaka. The message reads, Hi. This is Tanaka, the best friend your pocketbook ever had. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Persona started at 3. In technicality, Persona 1 and 2 is SMT. Persona 3 is a whole different entity. And Persona 4, of course. Persona 5 is like the is like the mixed child. It's literally white and black. White on Persona, black on SMT Legacy. It's sick as hell. I love it. And what's in my book, pocketbook is my own business. It's not my company's money. So what's so what is it to them how I use it? Let me make one thing clear. I'm not ashamed of a single thing. This guy's a dick. My conscience is clear. Dear viewers, so buy my products guilt-free. Amazing comedies here for you year-round, rain or shine. Bye now or drown in bitter tears. Bye bye. I'll see you ass in fucking P4. Apparently he had no intention of revealing his use for the funds. Has this Tanaka no shame? Just because he made some money for himself doesn't mean he can't toy with the common man's emotions. As self-appointed representative of Joe Q, public. I have something to say, and I'm not afraid to say it. Fat ass pigs like him 
who gorged himself on the excesses of capitalism should be. Thanks very much as we wrap up our special report. With no new clues as to how the funds have been used, we can only hope that they went to humanitarian purposes. Next up, your daily glimpse into the stock market, where amazing comedy stocks are skyrocketing of on the strength of the bizarre revelations just now. Alright, well, there's that. You should have got to sleep early tonight. You should go to sleep. What? I gotta leave, man. Alright. Maya! Go inside! Anyway, you've been different lately, Miss Toriyumi. You're looking more and more like a professional. Your lesson the other day intrigued me too. It seemed like you spent a lot of time preparing. I've never seen you so passionate about teaching before. It's unparalleled! Unnatural! Unparalleled? Yes, I have been studying more than just making preparations lately. Things like how to communicate the lessons I want to teach. But it does seem odd that I'd start now, though. The thing is, I've decided to stop wasting my time, always living only in the present. How wonderful! I'm impressed by your change of heart. What brought this on? Well, when I was just goofing off one weekend, I met someone. So I took a closer look at my life. That person? Well, was... Well, was it... Yes, uh, it was... It must have been a person. Ah, yes, I understand. I myself once went through a similar epiphany. Now that I think about it, I met my darling husband thanks to a destiny called fate. A destiny called fate? Isn't that like saying my headache hurts? Anyway, isn't that a harsh thing to say to a single girl like me? <laughs> well, if you excuse me. Excuse me. The teachers seem busy. You decide to leave. Ah, Yuki-kun. Is everything okay? Do you need something? You don't look well. Maybe you should visit the nurses. Oh, you dropped something. <gasps> Miss Toriyumi picked up your cell phone. This! Now, now, Makoto. Cell phones aren't allowed at school. Fuck you! Cell phones are, are universal now. You can't tell me this shit's not allowed at school. That's green. Read downward. I love you. My! What a charming confession of love. Did you make this, Makoto? It was... It, it's from my online grill. <laughs> online girlfriend? Never mind that. What's going on? Why would Makoto couldn't have this screen cap? Don't tell me he got it online. But the only people who were on the servers were... <coughs> huh? No, no way. It can't be. Is this a joke? No! Oh, Mr. Toriyumi. <laughs> Oh, she's so she's so cute. She's adorable. Calm down, Miss Toriyumi. Help! Someone call a doctor. Itogawa. Just take her now, Wakoto. Just do it. 
But Koroku, don't tell me you're Tetsuya! I said all that to you? I... Uh, no, 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 this is bad. No! <laughs> She's cry. It's 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 adorable and like kind of sad at the same time for her to have like that shocking revelation. But it's so it's like it's cute, dude. You can't deny it. She's crying. This can't be happening. I quit this. I'm leaving. I'm never coming back. Oh, I wish I was dead. Just kill me now. Hello, Maya-san. Oh no, should I do that? Ah! <laughs> I said you really are. Please let this be in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Please let this be in the movie. I... I'm Maya. I'm Maya. I'm Maya, damn it. You got a problem with that? Why don't you say something? Jeez, you idiot. Baka. This is so embarrassing. <sighs> but... There was one thing I wanted to say if we ever met face to face. I... It was thanks to you that I was able to turn my life around. So I'm grateful. Nah. Wipe that smile off your face or I'll wipe it off for you with my fists! If you don't mind, if you don't mind, ah, uh, maybe we could have dinner. Oh, oh, to hell with this! <laughs> easily, easily the best social link, the best revelation. My, my bad. The best. Well. <coughs> It was just, it was just good, man. I just love when Jerome ignores me. I'm reading the freaking thing. What are you talking about? I have to read. I can't fucking go cross-eyed. What's up, Supersonico? How's it going? Jesus. This is amazing. Best waifu. <laughs> hey, what's up, Spyro? How's it going, dude? So salty, this didn't go further than that. Yeah, I I, I kind of wish he he could have uh, gone to gotten with Miss Toriyumi a little bit. <laughs> it's an, it's adorable, all right. It's adorable. Um, with that said, I don't think there's anybody else, right? So we got Maya. We finished the Devil Arcana, which we just did. We did the Monk. We did the sun, because I know that for fucking because I cried. We got Fuka. We got Shihiro. We did Kenji. Was there really only seven max social things I did? Huh. We got the no, we got the old couple, so so it's eight. We got the old couple. Now that should be it, alright? All right, so what do I do now? So just should I just go to sleep? Let me use the bathroom. Kaz, I didn't max out Kaz. My body's in average condition. Why are people saying I'm dying? There's really nothing I could do. Yeah, I, f I, I talked to everybody. I could. All right, time to die. Oh, sorry, spoilers alert. Senior graduation day. Wait, 
actually do nothing. I actually want to check something out. Damn it! What's in this room? What the f You can't go back. I was hoping to God that I was I was gonna be going up there and watching the recordings. Fuck, dude. You feel very tired. Literally the life force is draining from my body. It's me, I guess. I guess? I guess what do you want, baby? May I please come in? Yeah, go ahead. Thank goodness. I'm so happy to see you again. I'm sorry to show up so suddenly, but I really needed to talk to you. I remember everything. Everyone seems to have forgotten, but I remember that day we... I'm sorry. It's just that when I remembered... I was afraid you might go somewhere far away, like you did at the last battle. Graduations today, isn't it? I'm sorry. The ceremony's already begun. Such nice weather outside. Do you remember? The promise we all made? Why don't we go there and wait for the others? We can enjoy the view of this peaceful city. The time to part has finally come. Though this is our last day together, we want the senior class to know that you've truly earned our respect. We wish each of you good health, happiness, and prosperity. On this auspicious occasion, I bid you all a fond farewell on behalf of the student body. Next, a word from the valedictorian. From Class D, Mitsuru Kurijo. Thank you. This last year, I accepted an important responsibility as student council president. When I first addressed you from this podium, I spoke to you all about seizing opportunity while you had the chance. Well, it must have been fate that intervened and gave me an important reminder of this. As many of you may know, my father unexpectedly... He unexpectedly passed away due to sudden illness. Sudden illness. Wow, that's rare. 
I've never heard her stumble in a speech before. It's a big day. It must be tough thinking about her father. I remember. Yes. With my father's death, I lost my purpose in life. Hang on. Wasn't I supposed to? Akihiko Senpai. What's up? Sit down, you two. But now, I have something to live for. No longer will I run from the future. I will face it head on, carrying out my father's will. I am resolved, and without reservation. Promise! I owe it all to my invaluable friends. And we have promised to never lose hope, no matter what tomorrow may bring. Senpai, we made a promise. Let's find him, and I guess too. Yes, I can hardly wait. Everyone, let's go! This is my first time experiencing spring. But this season will eventually pass. After fighting alongside you and facing the world's end, I finally began to understand what it means to live. Thinking for yourself, not running away. Accepting the inevitable. All things eventually come to an end. Every living thing will one day disappear. Only by accepting this can one discover what they truly want. What the meaning of their life will be. I understand now why I was so tormented by my lack of strength. Protecting others became more than just an order I had to obey. I wanted to do it for my own reasons. I realized this once I decided to try and prevent the fall. When I thought I might never see you again, Something else became clear to me. What I wanted most. And so... I made up my mind. I decided that I would continue to protect you. I want to be your strength. I know I'm not the only one who can do this. But that's okay. <laughs> My life will be worth living if it's for this reason. <laughs> Thank you. <gasps> You're right. What am I doing? Stand now, so I should be happy. Hey, everyone, I realize now that I have friends as well. You don't have to save the world to find meaning in life. 
Sometimes, all you need is something simple, like someone to take care of. I'll keep on living no matter what, so that I can protect you. Thank you... for everything. You must be tired. Please, get some rest. I'll stay right here with you. Soon, all your friends will be here by your side. Don't worry. I will always be by your side, protecting you. I gotta be honest, I'm kinda scared of uploading that last part on YouTube because the whole flagging shit. So, after three long years, we finished it. Time for another three long years. I'm just joking.